Um, welcome back to the AO Chill. Is this even a podcast anymore? At this point, I don't even know. I'm just here looking for our guest today, CC Mother Frickin Kamach. Yo, that's crazy. What up? <laughs> How are you? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's been a while, it's been a minute. I'm here driving. Cece's in the passenger. I don't even know what's going on anymore, to be honest. <laughs> I really honestly don't even know what's going on. Am I even a podcast? Am I a YouTuber? Am I a singer? Am I a dancer? Am I a stripper on the side? I don't know. But we're back. Episode, I'm pretty sure 13? 13, 13, I think it is. This year, this season. Um, Cece, please take us a couple minutes, seconds, let the people know who you are and where you're from. What's up? I'm Cece Camacho. Don't really know where to look right now. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. Now it's fine. I, I'm still, I'm still figuring this fucking out myself, bro. We're gonna figure yeah. this out together. <laughs> yeah, Cece Camacho coming live. I'm from Queens, Brooklyn, New York. You know, obviously moved to Jersey and shit. Um, and yeah, we're. I'm an artist, um, both visual and uh, songwriter, poet, uh, all that. You know, performer. We're, so how was your day today? Like, what you do? Oh, today, <laughs> today I work my my day job, you know, and um, I usually work remote. And my CEO was like, "Yo, meet me here," and I was like, "Oh shit!" So I met my CEO, and he just like was talking for my. <laughs> that's cool. That's cool. But otherwise, it's been chill. That was on. That's all you did today. I mean, yeah, I was kicking it with my brother earlier. Um, I didn't even know you had family like that. Yeah, I'm one of five. You're one of five? Yeah. How does that go? How 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 was that um, growing up? It's cool. Like there's like an age gap. So like like the first half of my life I kinda like was chilling with my sisters. They're like ten years older than me. Oh. And then my brothers are like five years younger than me, you know? So it was kinda like it was cool, tactic, but it was cool. <laughs> so when did you start smoking weed? When I was thirteen. <laughs> I was actually gonna ask about the smoke weed now. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. But it's cool. Um, yeah. Uh, I started smoking when I was thirteen. I was chilling on a stoop uh, with some of my friends and my big cousin Bono pulled up, and he's like, "Yo, y'all trying to sife?" And everybody's like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah we're gonna sife." But mind you, they're my classmates mixed with like some other kids that were my cousin's age, but they all live on the block, you know. Mm-hmm. And I lived up the block, like, a couple blocks down. Like, <laughs> you know I mean? I was born with a little cousin, like. <laughs> but, like, these are my classmates. Like, we literally in the same class, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And they try to, like, dip, like, you feel me? Like, and, and I'm like, yo, and, like, I go to get up, and my cousin's like, nah, you're not coming with us. And I'm like, yo, bro, what you, what you mean I'm not coming with you? Like, you just took my, all my friends and left me dolo. Like, <laughs> and he's like, he's like, nah, because you can tell you smoke with me. I said, I said, Bono, think about it. Why would I tell my mom that I smoke? And he was like, oh. I bet, like, <laughs> yeah, word. So that's where that started, facts. How'd you get into music? I feel like I kind of always loved rap, you know? And so, like, um, it wasn't until, like, like I would, like, freestyle and stuff and, like, like listen to beats. Like, I, I don't know, I was probably, like, it wasn't until I was, like, 18, 19, probably that I started like like listening to beats and stuff but I wasn't like really writing I was more doing poetry and shit but I would always freestyle you know but I was like yo I'd never be a SoundCloud rapper like <laughs> you know like and it's just like no but shout out all the SoundCloud rappers you know I mean? like you definitely both a whole culture and shit like I can always think about that song man but we're like you know so I guess like poetry kind of led me into like like freestyling and then 2017 came and I was probably like 21 and I came across legendary ciphers, and I'll see like they. I don't know if you know what they are. They're, it's like a, a cipher that happens every Friday in Union Square, and it's from eight to twelve, and they just play beats all night. And like you know, there's rules to the cipher and stuff. And, like it's just dope. It's, it's, there's a whole community there, and I fell in love with it. And I like I, I dedicated like a whole year of my life to going every Friday and shit. And um, yeah, like I got into it, but. When the pandemic hit, I didn't really like take. I made people with, like one or two songs, like you know, like that, and they weren't even songs. Like they were poems that put on beats. <laughs> like my boy was like, yo, like like your poetry is a lot of like rhyme and rhythm. You know what I mean? Like it's not like 
like you know like so you could or you need to know no figure out how to count bars like you know and i was just like i don't know i, I couldn't catch a beat for shit like i always started late like i'm not i don't know when it comes <laughs> like you know like i, I was in on that oh, we started like late. you feel me like i'm a poet like we talk about like you feel me like whatever and um yeah so when the pandemic hit you know 2020 i got laid off from my day job and shit like that and i had some bread so i like i got into the studio with this girl and we were in the studio together just to like create like merch like shirts shit like that because mind you like i i always put my art first you know like i was drawing like in high school and stuff but i didn't take it seriously into my lung collapse my lung had collapsed or whatever and um yeah, Your lung collapsed? yeah you didn't know that i feel like we talked about this but you know what's crazy is that i've had another podcast guest whose lung also collapsed and so i'm confusing your story with their story now as well nah yeah so tell me about your lung collapsation because that's crazy yeah like you're the I'm third the... person i know now who that's happened to which is scary yeah i mean my lung collapsing was kind of like the start of my art shit like you feel me like so with i was in i had just like I was dating somebody who I would give the shirt off my back to. You know, he he, he was the first boyfriend I ever had. He passed away recently, last year at the time, around, around this time last year. I'm so sorry. It's cool, you know, um, God bless him. And he opened my eyes, like he put me through so much shit. Boom, 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 boom. We break up, you feel me? The next day, mind you, I don't even, I, I hadn't been talking, I ran away from home. I wasn't like living in the crib, like I was living in New York to be with him and shit like that, all this mad shit going on. And, um, I was in New York or whatever, and I, I decided to trip on some shrooms, you know? Okay. And I was like, because I really didn't have, like, a will to live for real. And I was like, like, you know, and I was just like, yo, like, this can't be it. Like, I got to, like, do some healing real quick. Like, you know, but I was in a terrible state. <laughs> <laughs> and, and the next day I'm tripping or whatever. And I'm tripping with my cousin. We walking through, like, Forest Park and Queens and shit. And he dropped me off from, like, my boy's house or whatever. And we we chilling. I'm watching Scarface off the new shorties and shit, whatever. And um, whatever. Oh, long story. So, <clears throat> sorry, sorry. I, I definitely got caught up in like a year before. But but basically, like when that happened, like it was a year, exactly a year after I had found out like my my boy had died. Like you feel me? And so like like. My my boyfriend broke up with me, and the next day I checked on mushrooms, and I walked into my boy's like job looking for him, and they told me he was buried like three days before, and, and that shit was crazy. It changed my life. It made me to be a more grateful person, and I started like really like you know I went home and I started I went to school full time. I, I got a full time job, my first full time job and shit, like you know, and I just started like wild and like going crazy like on the books like and. Yeah, like I was going to school full full time, and I had one day off Tuesdays, and <clears throat> that day off I would go to school because <laughs> I worked the rest of the week, <laughs> and I would go to school for eight a.m. to nine p.m. And that day I didn't want to go my graphic designs class or whatever, and my boy picked me up, and he's like, "Yo, like, like, pop out, whatever." Boom, boom. He dropped me off, and I, now I got like some butt on me. I had like a half. I smoke a quarter. My boy. Chris, he didn't have a phone, so he just comes to like my backyard, you feel me? And he's like, yo, CC, what up? You smoking? I right, bet, like, you me? <laughs> and me and him start typing this shit. And then like, he said something, and I was like, I hope that's not true, and I start hyperventilating. But what I didn't know was that all the years that I was smoking, not all the smoke was escaping my lungs, you feel me? And so like, boom, like, now all the smoke is escaping my lungs, and basically like, there was like, air blebs coming out of my, my my lungs. And so like when my, my lung hyperventilated, like when my lung like expanded to the point like it pressed up against my chest wall, mm -hmm. it popped the bubble. And so there was air escaping my lung and like going into my body but not coming out. And so like my lung was collapsing itself. So I, I instantly was just like, you feel me? And I like fell over and like, my boy's like, yo, you good? And I'm like, nah, like, let me get my, my asthma pump. So boom, didn't work. I got a nebulizer, you feel me? Didn't work. He's like, yo, my rod here, he leave me. 
I call oh, my sister. Geez. She's like, you tripping on shrooms? I'm like, I know what shrooms are supposed to. There's no, like I'm, <laughs> like, like I'm, I'm, I'm hurt. She like, she's like, wait till mom get home, right? You feel me? So my mom pulled up to the crib, and she's like, yo, you smack. She's like, you smoking backwards, dusty ass backwards. Ah, oh, oh, she flamed it. She, she just like, you know, she like, look at you, Kofi Brown. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, uh, uh start going crazy. So I'm like, man, like. So then, boom, like. <laughs> She tells me to take a shot of milk. I go to sleep like that. I wake up. You feel me? You went to sleep with a collapsed lung? <laughs> I went to lung? sleep like that. I wake up. I'm like, yo, like, I'm coughing. She's like, you probably got bronchitis. Da, 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 da. Like, I'm like, I schedule a doctor's appointment. I I'm, I had some time before my doctor's appointment, so I go and smoke the rest of my butt and my voice cream. Bro, are you and, still smoking? Yeah. And I was just... Rolling, I get to my boy's crib and he's there playing video games with his boy. And I'm like, yo, bro, I'll light you up on all this if you just rub my back, bro. Like, <laughs> like, cause my lung collapsed. So, like, oh, you know, man, I didn't know. Like, you feel me? Like, it was just like, bro, like, and then, and then, yeah, like, oh, shit. <clears throat> so that shit was just crazy, bro. Like, and then, um, so whatever. So, boom, like, we end up, we end up, um, my homegirl hit me on Mary Buck. She's like, you're trying to smoke. I got a dub. I said, yeah, I pull up. Shit, she pull up. <laughs> she bring me to my crib. My mom volunteers her to bring me to the doctor. She bring me to the doctor. <laughs> and we chopping it up 45 minutes in the waiting room. Now it's like 7.45 p.m. We in the waiting room. Uh, uh, like, And the doctor finally comes out or whatever. And she's like, hey. Uh, uh. Uh, she sees me. She does like a little x-ray. She listens to my lungs, like whatever. And she's just like, yeah, you got to go to the ER. Like, now, nah. and I'm like, what? And she's like, yeah, you know, you have what's called a pneumothorax, so you just gotta, you gotta go and cut the line when you get there. And I was like, okay, but she said it so nonchalant, like she said it like without a care in the world. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Like, yo, know? maybe so it like, didn't make you like worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but like, I did not give a fuck. So I, <laughs> I'm smack, right? So I go to the front. The lady talking to me, mm-hmm. and she's like, <laughs> she's like, oh, so I said, I don't know, no more thorax or something. She's like, oh, it's all serious. I'm like, yeah, I don't know. And then the doctor come out. She's like, yo, you got, you need an ambulance or something because like you gotta go. Like, <laughs> you know me? And I'm like, I'm like, oh, okay. So I get in the car. I'm like, yo, we gotta go. She's like, what? I'm like, I don't know. She said, she said my lung collapsed or some shit. So she's like, what? Boop, boop. So Mary Beth slide. We get to the thing and then like, yeah. So, boom. Like I was, I was in there, and um, yeah, it was, it was an experience, and I was tied to a bull from like my, my lung collapsed twice while I was there. Dude, you can like, so how, so what, like, what was that? Two, three days that passed when your lung collapsed? One, one. One? All yeah, right, it was all right, one right, day. Right, right, right. All right, bet. Good, because I had that time when I fucked around. I was like, yo, how did you survive? Because I know the people who talk to me about their lung collapsing, bro. Like, you could die immediately. My, my lung collapsed um, probably like, I would say probably like 7 p.m. on March 7th. And March 7th, 2017. And then... The next day, I didn't, I didn't go to the doctor until the next day, um, like probably around like seven, and I was there till like eight, and, and then getting surgery until like eight thirty nine o'clock. When I got there, my lung was seventy five percent collapsed. Jesus Christ, CC. <laughs> I'm not gonna say what happened before this. You already know let, what's going on. But let's just say. I picked from the vegetable garden. That's the lamest thing I could actually ever say in my life. Just say that. We picked, for, we picked from the vegetable garden. That's what we did, fellas. See, this is why I can't be on the lettuce, bro. Because I just be... Dude, my ADHD goes crazy. Do you see how my mind is working right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking good. dumb right now, nah, bro. This is a side of me that the people... Out. Are, you got this out. No, no, no. This part is, is in. It's in. <laughs> it's, at this part, it's in. We're like, so where we left off in the story... I'm so good at this, bro. I'm so good at this. Where we left off, we were about to talk about how you got into your art. Yeah, so... Um, basically, I think we were talking about, like, my lung had collapsed or whatever, uh-huh. and my boy from high school, Michael Montague, popped up. He had brought the canvases, right? And he brought canvases. To the? To the hospital. Because you had a, a, a program there that was, like... No, he didn't He didn't know nothing about the program. Oh, okay. But the program also changed my life. Like, there was, like, like my time in the hospital was very, like, I, I feel like I was reborn. You feel me? Because I was alone in the room by myself. You feel me? For, like... 30 days like that shit was crazy like you know and I could I had a tube con- connected it was applying negative pressure so it was just like taking all the air out and it was um he about to hit you it was in a box mm-hmm. 
<laughs> that was quick. That was quick. <laughs> it was in a box to the wall. I could only go to the bathroom. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So whatever. So, um, yeah. So he pulls up. He drops off the stuff. I start painting. Whatever. Now the lady Megan Shine. She come around with the morale program. Now I'm already painting. You feel me? Mm-hmm. So she she's like, oh my god, da, da, da. she gave me some Posca markers, like some Japanese markers. Fire, like. You feel me? She blessed me with mad shit, whatever. Boom, boom, boom. Me and her start chopping it up. She was like, we. She was like, yo, you're amazing. Da 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 da. Like this is so crazy. You're, like you know, you're so positive about it. Da 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 da. I'm just like, yeah, like, fuck it. Like you feel me? So boom. And then one day she comes into my room and I'm about like I, I I have been there for like two weeks already. And she comes into my room and she's like, hey, listen, like there's some girl that like I feel like would benefit from meeting you. She's about 13 years old. I can't tell you why she's here, but she tells you. You know, that's completely up to you and, you know, whatever. But I can't tell you why she's here. But I think that she needs to talk to you. And I was just like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it was the first day that I was, like, actually allowed out of my room, actually. You feel me? Because I had gotten better um, with my lung. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I was, it was a test to see if I could be without the, the support. So I still had the box and the tube, but I was walking. So I went to the teen center or whatever, and I meet this little girl. And um, <clears throat> we start chopping it up. Her mom's there. Her mom looks stressed you know but she she says hello she's very sweet and um there's some lady there and megan introduces us or whatever and me and me and the girl start chopping it up and whatever we get to know each other but the first thing that she asked me is like <laughs> can i ask you a question i'm like yeah what's up like ran like like we just sat down like <laughs> you know me like and she's like she's like you know what what do you do when the person that you love leaves you like the person you love the most like leaves you like what do you do and i like i looked at her and i was like you know you you got to pick yourself up you know cuz like you're born alone and you're going to die alone in that casket you know so you got to be like your own motivation you feel me like you can't you can't let somebody leaving you be anything you know and then she expressed to me like what happened like there was like a a thing that happened with her dad or whatever and she had um like attempted to to you know the Delete yeah she 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 was in the spot and we were chopping it up and we ended up watching this uh chance the rapper short film <laughs> it's called mr happy <laughs> how old was this girl by the way 13 <laughs> okay all right her mom was there like you know we was all watching it Word. and that's a uh, deep question for y- a 13 year old. yo and i was just like yo what the fuck but like it was because like that happened you feel me and me and her and we were supposed to be there for like an hour we, we chilled the whole day like, I met her at, like, ele- like, 11 o'clock. We were supposed to leave by, like, 12, 1. And I was with her until, like, 6 o'clock. Then they pulled the tube out of me. Boom. They pulled the tube out. And then she goes home. Me and her, like, had the whole day. We collabed on something, donated it to the, the hospital and everything. Mm-hmm. And whatever. It was dope. Like, it was a great experience. And then and then the next day, my lung collapsed again. Damn. And, and and all hope went out the window. I was like, yo, fuck this and fuck that and fuck you and this. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? Why y'all, y'all trying to kill me? Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, yo, like, I was not with none of that. Like, what what is going on? Like, you feel me? Like, how my lung collapsed again? Like, what are you talking about? Like, you feel me? I had to do the whole surgery again because they pulled the... L- That's crazy. <laughs> so I, I ended up, I ended up like... Like, inside um, the hospital for another, like, you know, and I just kept painting or whatever. When I got out the hospital, you feel me? I met somebody who knew somebody who passed away. And they hit me up on the gram. They were like, yo, you knew this person, da 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 They brought me to his memorial. And we ended up tripping. We ended up, like, you know, connecting, becoming friends and stuff. And he actually had, like, a collective where he was, like, showcasing art and stuff. And he was a photographer and things like that. And um, Civ3, shout out Civ3. And, um... And, yeah, he put me on. He taught me how to make prints and shit and, like, you know, like, all that. And I started doing shows and I started doing, like, open mics and poetry and shit like that. Um, That was, like, for from, like, 2017 to, like, 2020. And then 2020 hit, I got into, like, the music shit. You feel me? So I was doing all the art shit. Boom, 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 boom. Making, I started dropping hoodies and stuff, like, T-shirts, shit like that, paintings, whatever. And <clears throat> 2020 hit, I got laid off. And I got into the studio, you feel me? I mean, this girl got into the studio together. And when I wasn't there, like, you know, when she was there using the spot, like, I was still in New York, you feel me? Like, so I would chill down the hall, like, with my boy. 
and like he would record himself but like if you are an artist you know what it is to record yourself in and out the booth you know and that shit is not the most comfortable thing. Like, he's, like, struggling. You feel me? I'm like, yo, just show me what's going on. Like, <laughs> just show me what's going on, please. Because, like, I need to help you. Like, you feel me? And he taught me Pro Tools. I learned how to record. And then I, I started recording myself. You feel me? And then some shit happened where, like, you know, homie tried to, like, dead me on some hours. Like, <laughs> you feel me? And I was like, damn, that's never going to happen to me again. And I just started investing in myself. And, um... I got my own setup and shit and then I ended up like like recording people to like keep up with like living there and shit like you feel me and I was just making music for myself and just like healing and meeting people and meeting people and like just connecting with different producers and cooking up and cooking up and cooking up and um and yeah and now like I feel like I cooked up enough that I'm sharing with the world and like I'm stepping outside like I, I wasn't outside for like three years like, <laughs> yeah. I remember you talking about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saying that you took a step back. Yeah. All right. I got one question for you. And then I'm going to ask you to do something cool that actually wasn't my idea before, but now I just thought about it. I think it would be really dope. At what point of your life were you at when you first pulled up to that Mad Minds event and we had talked? Like, where were you in your journey? <laughs> um. So when I met you at Mad Minds, um, that was what, like April? Yeah, that was like April of 2022. Had to be something like that. So, so my birthday I just passed. You feel me? Um, I've been living in Jersey for about like six months. Mm -hmm. Um, and prior to that, I like I had just left the studio. Like, I some some shit happened. You feel me? And like, I just like I found better opportunity. Like, you mm -hmm. know, in Jersey and shit. So boom. So I moved to Jersey. And um and I I meet up like I I meet up with my my homie like I get booked for a show I did like a open mic or whatever, and my homie pull up or whatever, and I didn't even recognize him. <laughs> I didn't even recognize this who like I didn't recognize my friend when he pulled up like shout out Nico like I didn't I didn't I didn't recognize him when he pulled up. <clears throat> And I performed or whatever. Well, before I was going to perform, I needed the dongle. You feel me? And somebody pulls up and he's like, oh, I'm going to go. I got one in my car. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. He did. I'm like, oh, my God, they're so nice. They're going to go get me some, some shit. Blah, blah, blah. He pulls back up. He gets it. I perform. I still don't recognize him. Like, <laughs> you feel me? He comes up to me. He's like, he's like, yo, Cece, that shit was crazy. I came out here just for you. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yo, shit, Nico. Like, <laughs> Cause when I, last time I seen him, he was in college and he didn't have no hair. You feel me? Like he he done grew his hair That's out. You why. feel me? No, that happened like, to me too. Bro. Yo, like and I'm like yo, it, it's been years. Like it's been a couple years. It's been like it's been like four or five years. Like that shit crazy. So you know, and then um boom. So he invites me to UD. He invites me to UD. And I start, we start going to UD. I went to UD like one, two, three times. And I was trying to tell Kurt, like, yo, I, 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 I work in Coney Island. Like, you feel me? I got I to gotta go all the way to New Jersey. Like, you feel me? Like, I can't make it to, on that line, bro. Like, please. Like, he, I saw him. He, that I dumb my shit. Like, after he said yes on IG because he thought that um, I was like some dude. Mm -hmm. That I took a picture of I was like oh my god I gotta start posting pictures of myself Cause I didn't even have pictures of myself It was just my art So yeah. it, was just, it was just like yeah. My art it's, it's, Like it could pass for like a guy Doing the art You feel me Whatever Like you know And um And whatever So like Boom I finally get there early And I perform my UD And I did I performed there the day That I dropped my EP March 17th I think I think it was Wednesday I could be wrong but <laughs> but but whatever. So I, I did Bermuda, which is like the most hype, and I was like the first open mic so that shit. It it just like every it was up, like you feel me. And then boom, as soon as I hopped up the stage, like you know, like uh, Steel comes up to me and he's like, "Yo, like we want to book you for a show." Ah, uh, uh, like pop out. And so like whatever, I did a show, and I had a month to do it. So I didn't think nothing of it, you feel me? I just did that because Jay Sleep asked me to perform. He's like, you got to promote it, da-da-da, you got to do one show. I'm like, mm -hmm. all right, whatever, like, you feel me? So then, boom, then that month passed, and I do the show. And now now it's, it's like the beginning of, um, it's the day before Mad Minds. Mm -hmm. I do the show the day before Mad Minds. And I meet Jay Vallejo at Soundcheck. <laughs> and, and this is how I met Jay Vallejo, bro. Like, I'm chilling there, whatever. 
and and uh, <laughs> and I'm sitting down and I'm I'm, I'm siphoning with, with the homies, whatever. We sit in the cup, but they doing sound check in the front, whatever. We at we at um the the lounge, take off lounge, and boom, you might have to blow, blow that out. I don't know, but <laughs> but whatever. So we pull up, we pull up or whatever, and um we um. All I hear is like some rock star shit. Like it's some like some some rock shit. I'm like, yo, we got some real performers in this bitch. Like it's instruments out. Like, <laughs> like it's crazy. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like I'm I'm on a line up with him. Like, <laughs> like what the fuck? Mad minds go hard. Yeah. No, no, no. This this was before Mad Minds, but the, he was on he was on he did before my Mad Minds. So so boom. So so this is a show before Mad Minds. So okay. so mind. this is the night before. Did you ask me where I'm at? So this is my I, the Mad Minds was my third show of the year. That's where I was at. Wait. So and I did I did over forty shows like within like six seven months like real shit and um so boom like um at that point I was at my second show and like and like boom so we I mean or my third that was my third so my mind was my fourth mm -hmm. so Jay Vallejo he pulls up and me and him just kick in that we ended up being back in like right next to each other in lineup so. Whatever, the night goes on, and then all of a sudden I hear, CC Camacho! And I'm like, oh, I think I'm up next. And he's like, no, it's Jay Vallejo. <laughs> and then he starts performing. <laughs> and yo, it was, it was a dope-ass performance, because he told me, he was like, you better not miss my set. Like, you feel me? I go on right before you. Like, you better be right there. Like, you feel me? He called me to make sure that I was there. I was there. And, um, yeah, it was crazy. So then he was like, yo, I'm going to a show tomorrow, man. Mind you, you should pop out. I think that you should do that song. You only get to do one song, but, like, you should do it, da 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 I was like, all right, but, like, fuck it. So I went and I did it. And off of Mad Minds, like, I just met so many beautiful people and, like, so many artists and shit like that and, like, just started connecting with people and just, like, got the ball rolling. And, like, every opportunity that came my way, I just said yes. And word, that's how I've been living. Facts. That was sick, yo. That's really sick. And now, look, you just said you have performed, like, how many shows up to this point? Right now, like, like over 40. That's like. Yeah, since that time, word. That's stupid, like, Because I think that's one of the most important things, yo. And after seeing you perform for the first time in New York City, that was, like, lit, too, yo. Oh, that shit, I forgot. Lit. Yeah. <laughs> you popped that up. That was lit. Yeah, Even yeah. though, like, I was at SOB's first. Yeah. And, dude. They changed was, the venue last minute. Dude, I was so... Shame on you, but it's okay. When I showed up there. He popped up. He was trying to make me go on early. I said, I got people walking over because you wanted to change shit last minute. So you better not because they purchased a ticket. Like, I was, like, dude, I was, <laughs> I was hustling that way, bro. I was like, and you know what's crazy, dude? Like, yo, y'all know I'm like a bigger guy. So like as soon as I got there, bro, yeah, yeah. the first thing big guys do when they're sweaty, bro, is hit the bathroom, bro. <laughs> That's exactly what I did. I hit the Had bathroom. Had to refresh himself real quick. How, dude, I have to, like, grab, like, a paper towel and put it under the titty sweat and stuff. You feel me? Like, y'all, I'm just being real with y'all. Like, y'all, that's some big guy problems, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, dude, like, I had to, like, one just come out and relax and, like, smell good. And then when I start sweating, like, I start getting mentally, like, being like, bro, do I smell bad now? And it's like, no, I don't. I D.O. everything. I put the cologne. But it's like, bro, it just doesn't feel nice to be sweaty all the time. You feel me? Like, I get mad upset. <laughs> It's all right. Yeah, I was the best of us. She's like, damn, you got titty sweat too. I'm like, but thank yeah, you for bro. coming. You feel me? I appreciate the hustle. Yeah, no, <laughs> like, uh, no, I'll tell you what, y'all. It was fire, yo. Because I really like, there's one thing I could appreciate about like certain artists that I see. And it's like, I think the, the most important part about being an artist, besides like the art and the music itself, is the fact that you have to know how to perform, you know? And it's one of those things that we were talking just before when I was telling you about the scatter pot. Bro, it's the same thing, bro. Like, you're going to have some performances that going to be ass. You're going to have some more performances that are going to be good. You're going to have ones that are great. But, like, the way you, like, start becoming better at it and just feeling it is, like, by doing it, you know? And a lot of people just don't do it. Or, like, they just don't do it enough. Or, like, you, you just have to go out, and, go out and book every single show. And that's something that I can super respect. And it's crazy because I know that there's people who, like, will only judge you based on like how your music is and what they think about it mm -hmm. but how many of these people are going to pop out to a show you know that's that's the real you right there bro that's you to the bone Word. to the bone for real Word. you know um what are you thinking Nah, yeah, for sure. Performing been like an experience, so I feel like 
I definitely didn't know what I was doing. Still figuring it out. <laughs> but, you know, the biggest thing about it is just sh- sharing my music and, like, feeling it and connecting with people. Oh, what's this? While you do this, mm-hmm. you could draw whatever you want. But I want to ex- I want you to explain to me while you're drawing whatever you want to draw, how you came up with the art style that you do, and just explain it to me like <laughs> while you're drawing it, because I like I'm a I'm a I'm a put up. Here's a picture. Here's a picture. Here's another picture. Here's another. I'm I'm being such an asshole. They're not pictures. Here's a piece of artwork. Here's a piece of artwork. Here's another piece of artwork. Um, y'all, y'all seeing what I'm seeing? Like, there's a style here. There's, 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 there's a uniqueness in what's here, and like, uh, what I think is so dope is like, for me, uh, drawing is not something that I'm good at, but it's like something that I like to do, and it's like, regardless of like people who are not even like good at drawing or anything, like they could draw stuff that is in their own style. And the fact that you're good at what you do and also have your own style is kind of what makes an artist iconic to themselves. So I want to know while you're drawing, I'll hold the mic for you too. Do you want me to hold the mic for you or you want, are you going to go one-handed? Like, what do you want to do? Yeah, it's all good. It's all good? I yeah. bet. They can um, still hear me like this, right? Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just make, make sure it's like... <laughs> I, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but you if I if I'm a if I'm a draw, you should you should yeah. catch a time lapse oh, yeah, or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah, like yeah. It's I'm, I'm actually matter of fact, you just you just reminded me because the of lettuce. ADHD. That's, that's it's the it lettuce. It Dude, I'm low key so embarrassed. I'm gonna look at this footage. Yo, listen. And I'm gonna not wanna put it out. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna not, I'm gonna do it because I'm 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 like There's a first I'm time for like everything. That. And people are yeah. I'm really like that, but I'm telling you right now, it I'm gonna look at this, I'm gonna be like, yo, CC, I hate you. Why did you give me? Why did you hand it to me? Like, like, and I'm gonna be like, I, it's really my fault because I took it. You know what I mean? I took it and I was like, I'll be fine, bro. But it's been two years, two years, and you could go, you could go to the to that last podcast. Um, there was it was concern. actually with my boy Mike Rafino. Shout out, Mike. I love you so much. I haven't seen you in years. Um, you never responded to my text of happy birthday to you. Um, <laughs> Maybe his number changed. Talk. I don't know, but I don't have no way to contact him because he don't use social media or nothing. That he off the grid like that. Like it's dope as hell. Like I respect the hell out of you, Mike. Write him a letter. Um, but like, dude, I don't know where he live. You don't live in the same place no more. You know his mom's. Yeah. But I don't have a number like that. Maybe I could look at my old school book or something like that. Old school I'm crying. Like that. <laughs> I'll be like, but shout out, Mike. Whatever. Yeah, shout out Mike. Um, yes, I'm gonna turn this on. My bad, bro. This, this, see, do you see? Do you see? Like, I'm not like who You're I was activated. before. You activated. Okay. Activated, bro. Yeah. <laughs> activated. That's a word for it. Yeah. Activated. You're activated. Is activated oh, another man. another word for slow? I just this silence is killing me. So, being that we can't put on music of other artists, it's only right. I'm so excited. Well, I feel like my favorite um, project is this, but I'm not sure if it's going to block it out. What? Is, is it your music? Yeah, it's me and him. Dope. Yeah, put really. it on. But yeah, so I don't know. I sat down one day and I was like, damn, like I kind of like wanted to create like something that I could do within like 60 seconds. You feel me? Something that was calm. Something that like would be able to like I could do it and walk away. You feel me? Cause I um I was dating somebody at the time and he <laughs> he was a writer. You feel me? And he was catch tags and shit. And um and yeah, I just want to catch tags and shit. So I came up with something that I could do. Like you feel me? Calm. And it was just this. And he just told me, yo, you should put bodies on them. Uh, uh, like, and I was like, nah, I can't see them with bodies. I used to just do floating heads everywhere. You feel me? And that's kind of like was my my thing. Like, you know, just different like emotions and shit. Like, 
but we're like I feel like I sat down one day and I just like looked up a bunch of different ears, a bunch of different mouths, a bunch of different eyes. Well, like on the internet? A bunch of different noses. And I printed out like like pages of different style cartoons and I put them together until I found one that I liked. Do you feel me? But honestly, you know how this started? How how I developed this one? Because I used to do do one like this. Because you remember in AIM? I don't know if you had AIM or... <laughs> I had AIM. I had AIM too. I had AIM too. Yeah, yeah. So, so boom. Like, you feel me? So I used to draw that and like... And then I would, I would go like that and put a beanie on him like that. That looks almost like girl a little And then bit. put an E at your... What the um invaders? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like girl. Yeah. Yeah, if it's, if it's so you feel me? That's different. And then I never put noses, and then eventually I found a nose that I liked, and I added it. You feel me? And then I sat down with this kid named Tiki. So I met Tiki in high school, and he was like a year younger than me or some shit like that. And um, now nah, he was like two years younger than me, Tiki. But we now it's outside of high school, whatever. We linked up. We went to some some library in the city, and we just pulled out some like books on art. And he sat down with me. He was like, "Yo, it'd be cool if you added like gums and shit to your characters." He's like, "You know, you should start like adding definition." You know, he's like, "You should maybe like start shadowing, like adding shadows like that and shit." Like, you feel me? And like, he made me do like you know like wrinkles and eyelids and like i started noticing like oh shit i like i love this song this shit hard I chose like square heads at first like they used to just like because I didn't like everybody did round heads you know so I just did something different So, um, do you want me to continue? <laughs> nah, that was the coolest shit I've ever seen in my fucking life, bro. Thanks. That's so cool, yo. I, 
I, honestly, at one point, bro, I was just my, I looked at the camera. I was like, "Can you believe this is happening right now, yo? <laughs> Holy shit, yo! That's so cool." All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I just need to think real quick. All right, this is so cool, bro. I'm like, Schmiss. listen, listen, li- li- nah. It, just in general, I'd be like this in general if watching you do this because it's crazy, yo. I've never seen anybody like just do this in front of me. You feel me? Nah, yeah. I feel like I like what I I used to do like in ter- in terms of um like art and shit like I was always on the train and shit you know what I mean like so I would just always make sure I read somewhere that like you know an artist or a person if you want to do anything if you want to accomplish anything like whatever you have that pertains to that you should always keep like something with you so you could do it like in your downtime you know what I mean so like as a as a writer you know maybe you want to keep a pencil and a notebook you know. As, like, an artist, you want to keep, like, a pen and a, a black book, you know? Like, and I used to draw on the train and, like, you know, and, like, it taught my hand how to get steady and shit like that. And, um, word. Like, I would just draw in it. I don't know. Facts. Because I get awkward on the train just looking around. <laughs> so I'd rather just occupy my mind, you know? I think it's my beautiful, yo. Right. I think that's such a crazy talent that you have, yo. Bless just like them. drawing and stuff And it's like It's on style too Like that's amazing yo Thank you So when do you know when you're done? I um, mean Artist work is never done That us It's never done You go always add it You go always tweak You go always I could fuck around and just like add paint to this and start a new slate, you feel me? And then just do layers, like, you know? But yeah, facts. There's always details you can add for real. But I guess when you feel like it, everything's feeling. I can't wait, way too late. Happen to hit on the bus. So we love this so Nah, this this one this one of my favorite EPs. Like this one's like a little slept on, you feel me? But yeah, this one Do you do you wanna do you wanna show the people real quick? Like what, what you did? Oh, uh, like, uh, or is it is it done yet? Is it yeah, I don't know? Yeah, I don't care. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know if y'all can see this shit. They can definitely see it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know what the fuck is going on. The tape is over, so I gotta find some other shit. Mm. Well, I'm hitting my face and shit. There you go. Damn, yo. This is beautiful, yo. Real quick, before this ends, just to show you, because I feel like people don't appreciate, like, art. Um... All right. Make sure. Can I get the Can I get the marker? Yeah. Oh, you about to you about to go crazy? Uh, crazy is a word. I don't know if you want to hold this for I me, will, I will. like like how I did for you. How I did? Oh, there's I want, two cameras on this shit. Fuck. I want you. It's fine. It's it's a three sixty. Uh, I want you to coach me, drawing something. Coach you. You're gonna coach me to draw something, and then. Like, I'm going to show them how it comes out. Okay? I know you've never done this before. What but the now hell? you're doing it right now. <laughs> you're doing it right now. You're doing it right now. You're doing it right now. You don't have a choice. I'll end the podcast right now if you don't do this. All right, all right. Um, <laughs> okay. All right, all right. I'll do one handed like you? you. I'll do one handed like you. All right. Just like mm-hmm. um, uh, what I want to draw, I want to draw what you think. A baby T Rex going down a slide would look like. What I think. Yeah, you're gonna. You help want me, me to guide you? You're gonna guide me. You're gonna guide me, and we're gonna draw this together. Okay. All so right. you said baby T Rex yes, going down slide. Yeah, baby T Rex. I right, buy right, the right, slide. Right. You gotta do the slide first. Right, the slide first. Yeah, but we're All only right. gonna do like part. Of, nah, nah, nah. Fuck it, fuck it. We're gonna start with. We're gonna. We're gonna. <laughs> what am I doing? All right. Draw the T Rex, but draw T-Rex? draw draw the T Rex head like at an angle, at an side angle? side side angle. The side angle. Yeah. But it's a baby T Rex. It's like, how does that look like? Okay, so you're gonna do like a 
I don't know. Should I do a yeah. circle? Should I start with a circle? No, do like a small half circle. Small half, a small half circle. Yeah, small half how circle. How small? Small, small, small half circle. Like this way? No, that's too big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like this. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Fuck it. All right. <laughs> now draw like the mouth and shit. How you see that that shit? What do you mean? I don't. That's know the head. That's the head. That's the head. That's the head? Yeah, so you gotta draw like the that's the top of the head. So you gotta draw like the uh, That's the top of the head. Alright, so the mouth. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna add a line and you tell me No I'm I'm you want me to fucking I, you I'm gonna add a line and you tell why me. Why the how fuck can I pick something you tell, else? You, you tell me how to call. You tell me how to call. Alright, ready? I don't know, it's not fucking T Rex. Ready? One, two, three, boom. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Alright, bet, 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 bet. Okay, huh? sure. Huh? Yeah. Mhm. Mhm. Yeah. Mhm. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Close okay. it. Close it. Like this. Like, fuck it. I, yeah. I, yeah. I, fuck I. it. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're helping me, bro. <laughs> you're helping me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Body. <laughs> Body. Body. Yari. 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 All right, like what? I'm thinking like an oval. Is an oval cool? <laughs> Is an oval cool, bro? All right, we got the oval. All right, like a big oval, medium oval, like, like how thin of an oval? Like should it be a thick oval? Cause I'm a thick kind of. Guy. It should be proportionate to the head. <laughs> that was such a good answer. All right. <laughs> it's a baby though It's a baby though Okay so it should like, be like Half proportion, prop Cause I feel like Proportional baby, in terms of wide all right, Proportional to wide right. Not proportional <laughs> <laughs> Bro we gotta get through this We gotta get through this all right, all right. Okay How does it, that look? I think that looks good Alright Itty bitty arms Itty bitty arms Should I have like fingers and shit? Like I don't wanna draw a stick I Like what would you draw? Like for arms Two sticks Two sticks? And the arm is in the middle. You use space. You feel me? So are we looking at it from the side? Like how are we <laughs> looking at it from? Because I'm I'm a little confused now. Because like, you draw a circle. Like, like bro, you... like you draw an arm. You feel me? You're gonna draw one stick. That could be an arm. Yeah, okay. fuck it, right? That could be an arm. But you like look now. It's an arm. You feel me? Two sticks. Why does it look so good when you do it? Two sticks. Uh -huh. He got three fingers. I think. I okay, think okay. Have three fingers. Now you gotta do. Now you gotta do a way smaller one inside the oval. Inside the oval. Yeah, it can't come Going out. This way. It or? can't come out the oval. Oh, okay. All right. Perfect. Okay. I, um, I think this is looking pretty good. Yeah, 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 and and now little feet. Little feet. How does should, should the feet look like? Should, all right, should I put? Should, should I do one? Oh, you like, gotta do like the leg. You gotta do like the. All right. Do another oval. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Stop! Stop! You're supposed to be supportive. You're supposed to be supportive. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. You know what? You know what? Do the other one. All right, all right. Do you like two lines like the oh, arms? Actually, right? no, no, no. Fuck, fuck the legs. Fuck the legs. Don't worry about no legs. legs. All right, Slide. No. All right. Slide. Yeah. Right. Mm hmm You got the right idea. Mm -hmm. Like. Yeah, you gotta touch his butt though. You got. Oh, actually, no, no, no. All right, damn that. Yeah, damn. yeah, no, no, perfect, perfect. Wait, perfect. wait, wait, wait. Don't don't T Rexes have tails? Don't worry about the tail right now. Right, I'm not gonna worry about the tail. You're right. All right, go down. <laughs> Stop! Stop! I'm trying my best. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Um, Where else do I go? From the right end. This. Right. Um, You're going to draw like a diagonal line. Like this? Not that deep, but yeah. Like, oh, this way? Y yeah. This mm -hmm. way? Yeah. Like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, my God. What do you mean? All right, it was from one corner to another corner. Okay, boom. Okay. So now you're going to take this corner. Okay. This corner. You're gonna you're gonna bring it up, par like kind of parallel to your line, but gonna look it's gonna be curvy like your line, you know. No. You're gonna do the same line. This line. Mm -hmm. But it's gonna meet that end. 
Oh, oh, like that. Yeah, but but closer, closer. Oh, so it has like, to go behind his head. Oh, it has okay. to, it has to go behind his head. Okay. Yeah. Uh huh. No. Oh, okay. Great. Beautiful. Okay. All right. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. I like this. Right? Okay. Now you're gonna do another line. Mm hmm. Like here. Mm hmm. But it's only gonna be like like it's gonna be like three mil millimeters. Like this, straight down. Oh, oh, no, or no, this no. way. Or this no, way you're gonna follow the line. I'm gonna follow the line. You're gonna make another one, but it's not gonna be so far apart. Yeah. Okay, so like that. Mm -hmm. uh, no, but all the way down over here. Okay. Perfect. Okay, now you're gonna um over here. Mm -hmm. We gotta draw the legs to the side, the ladder. Okay, 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 okay. okay. All right. Should it be like down, like that, to here, right? Yeah, fuck it. And All right. Another one, right? Okay. N no, no, no. But you get, think about how it's going to look. How is that shit stable? That shit's not stable. Where does the leg need to be to be stable? Another one? Where does the leg need to be to be stable? Here and down? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was like the first time you've talked to me. <laughs> doing this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now we gotta close the top, but we gotta make it so that like they could like come up a little bit. So close the top. Like this? No, no, no. Okay. Connect this and this line. Okay. Oh fuck! I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Make this come out a little bit. Oh, slightly diagonal. No, this way? Up, up, oh, up. But not, not, like, like, literally, just, they're gonna be kind of slanted. Oh, can't look kind of slanted. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> He's killing this shit. Wow. That's crazy. That's so good. Dude, I'm really happy right now, bro. No, that's so good. Okay. I feel like the slide is done. I think we're good on the slide. Okay. I think feet, we need to work back feet, on this T-Rex. The feet, yeah. The, the feet. I don't even know about that head, bro. I think that head looked good. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right. Help me with the feet then. All right. We're almost done with this. Uh, you got to do a little chicken leg. Little chicken legs? Yeah. You like, like make him have like a knee inside his body. A knee inside of his body? Oh. Oh, I think I know what you... Yeah, yeah, exactly. You get me. You get me. You get me. Yeah, yeah. yeah got you, got it. you got it. You got it. <laughs> Do you want to give him eyes? Yeah, yeah, we're done with the legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm over the legs. Over the legs. <laughs> oh my god, okay, 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 let's go to the eyes, bro. All right. The light went over, died. I think it did. It's okay. All right. <laughs> okay, okay, let's do, let's do the eyes real quick. I just had to turn that on before. <laughs> um... Yeah, sure. How would you do it? I wouldn't draw no T Rex, bro. <laughs> so freaking mean, bro. I'm just trying to freaking. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it the CC Camacho way. Since you, you don't wanna, you don't wanna help. Got the... Figure it out. Yeah, yeah. I know you like that. Look at this. <laughs> Bang. Bang! Damn! That yo, shit look like an alligator. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a T-Rex, yo. This is a T-Rex. I'm a T-Rex. Right, I'm going to take it from here. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> you got a lazy eye. All right? You got, a little, you got a little mouth right here. A little mouth. This is the prettiest alligator I've ever seen. You got a little snout. Um... I think you should give him a hat that says T Rex, <laughs> so people know. <laughs> I think I just gave him a J. <laughs> okay. Uh oh, T Rex. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, uh, should it be a fitted? It gotta be a trucker hat because you already drew the slide. 
All right, so how do I do that? I mean, fuck it. There's no rules. Go ahead. Go ahead, make the fidget. <laughs> <laughs> he looked like he worked at the Krusty Krab. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yo. I think that's it. Um, I can't show them on the camera because that camera just died. But this is how it looks like, yo. This is CC Camacho approved. Um, all right, yo. We have to end this part of the podcast here while I start driving you home. Yeah. Um, but um, I want to thank you so much for coming onto the podcast. That's crazy. Um, I'm so glad that we finally got to link up and do this. I had so much fun. I hope you had fun too. Yo, this has been an amazing time. Thank you for having me. Bro. Yeah, I lo- this is this is great. I can't wait till this episode comes out. <laughs> uh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so freaking embarrassed. Nah, um, it looks good, dog. Like, I just gotta take a picture of it. Real quick. <laughs> this is gonna be my background to my phone now, yo. Yeah. I'm gonna let them know that CC Camacho like helped me make this, yo. Oh. Go ahead. Crazy. Dude, it looks good. It looks good, yo. I smile with it. Nah, yeah, yeah, one for the books. This is amazing. I'm um, printing it out. So, uh, before we leave, do you have uh, any last words? Anything you want to say? Um, yeah. Um, I will say that we have a couple, couple, couple things cooking up. You feel me? Um, I have a single coming out with Lucaso soon called Like Two. Um, I also got. A project in the works produced by we're not gonna name him um <laughs> and yeah uh i'm really excited i'm really excited for this next like wave of sound that, that i'm about to put out you know um i feel like i tapped in with myself a little more and yeah this shit just like it rock you know so i'm excited to share and i'm i'm just i'm just happy for everything that's coming you know and and you know just keep an eye out because it's definitely gonna be more like we're Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> it's Cece Camacho at the AO Chill Podcast. You know what the fuck is going on. You know what time it is. <laughs> Good. All right, bro. All right, yo. I was going to say thank you so much again. Please let the people know where they can find you, your socials, your instas, any shout outs you have. Now's the time to do it. All right, well, CC Camacho, all platforms, all caps, C E C E Camacho, C A M A C H O. Um, you can also find me on Instagram at Yitwaz, which is shorty backwards. It's Y E T W A H S. Um, and yeah, I'm on Twitter, TikTok, all that. Don't really remember my handles, not even gonna lie to you, but you know, catch me on YouTube. You feel me? Um, but word and shout out to everybody who supports me and loves me and you know who shares energy with me and experiences and all that you know I'm I'm very um I feel very blessed to be meeting everybody that I'm meeting and and to just be around such great energy you know and um yeah I just hope that everybody remembers to just go out there for what you want facts word and y'all already know the business. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, AO Chill Podcast, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. Actually, sorry, not AO Chill Podcast. AO Chill Podcast on YouTube, AO Chill Podcast on Spotify, Apple Music. But we already changed our Instagram to AO Chill Studios. Mm. Go follow the Studios channel. We post up YouTube's yes, there. Um, when this comes out, uh, the Halloween episode just dropped. That was so fun to make. Please, please, please. I think right now it's at like 96 views or something. If we could get it to 100, that would be crazy. Uh, But yes, thank you so much. Much love always. I'll catch you on the next one. And uh, yeah, CC, thank you so much, yo. I'll catch you soon too, yo. Nah, yeah, I'll see you soon, bro. Hey, yo, let's get the fuck out of here. Thank you again.